Torah doesn't actually tell us not to eat milk and meat. The 99th sheet of Rambam. It's a long one, everybody. Uh, corresponding to the laws of Machol Sasuras, which we are currently learning, prohibited substances, things you're not supposed to eat. Today we are going to learn about one of the more well-known foods, which is contraband to Jewish people. Um, cheeseburgers. Milk and meat. Everybody knows that's... You're not supposed to do that. And it is a... It's a very unusual mitzvah because the Torah doesn't actually tell us not to eat milk and meat. The Torah doesn't actually tell us not to eat milk and meat. The second time the Torah says, don't cook it, the Torah really means... Hakavanabo, the intention of the Torah here is Achila. So the Torah says the first time don't cook it. Well, if it says don't cook it, it must mean don't cook it. That's, that's the prohibition. Then the Torah repeats it a second time. The Rambam says the second time the Torah repeats it is to tell us I'm not allowed to eat the milk and meat that was cooked together. Basar b'cholov, milk and meat, loke al bishulo, veloke al achilaso. You receive lashes. In other words, you're violating an instruction from the Torah, what we call in vernacular a lotase, when you cook it and you have the same kind of infraction, not the same infraction, same kind of infraction for which you would receive the, receive the punishment of Malchus when you eat it. Torah doesn't actually tell us not to eat milk and meat.